Here's the story that I thought of for you today, and it actually comes from, of all places, The Wizard of Oz, the movie, the original movie, the 1937, I think, movie of The Wizard of Oz starring Judy Garland. Now, first of all, how did this come to my mind? Well, our six-year-old daughter had a school assignment where she had to, uh, for her music class, she had to learn the song that Judy Garland sings, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, a beautiful song, and our daughter Louise learned that song, and then my wife Emily recorded her on video singing it, uh, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. And so, telling my my daughter about The Wizard of Oz, I said, would you like to watch some of the movie? So we watched some clips from The Wizard of Oz on YouTube. And so in The Wizard of Oz, I don't know whether you've seen it or not. I I hope you have, and I'm sure you have. But just in case you haven't, I would really, really, really encourage you to watch it. Not only because it's one of the classic Hollywood movies from the, the era of Hollywood in the 1930s. There's three characters in The Wizard of Oz. Well, four, actually. Well, five if you count. No, six. Gee, Michael, get it right. There's Dorothy and her dog Toto. Then there's the Wicked Witch of the East or West or North or South. I can't remember where she comes from. But there's the Wicked Witch. There's, first of all, the Scarecrow. Then there's the Tin Man. And then there's the Lion. And then, of course, they're all heading towards the ultimate character, the wizard himself, the Wizard of Oz. So we watched the, the, the we watched almost all the movie and it dawned on me, the Scarecrow wanted a brain. If you watched it, you'll remember this very clearly. Tin Man wanted a heart. The lion wanted courage. And what dawned on me was that for if the Scarecrow that wanted a brain had a brain, he could think. I mean, he says that, the character of the Scarecrow says that. If I had a brain, I could think. And Tin Man said, if I had a heart, I could feel. The lion says, if I had courage, I could act. And then it dawned on me, hang on a minute, that's the premise to cognitive behavioural therapy and psychotherapy. Think, feel, act. T-F-A, the acronym, if you wanted to create an affirmation for yourself. You've got to think, and when you think, feelings occur because thoughts become feelings and emotions through the hormonal and chemical reactions of the body. Thoughts become motion throughout the body, and that's what an emotion is. And it's because of our feelings and our emotions that we act courageously or with fear and hesitation, depending. But it all begins with what the scarecrow wanted. And I don't think for one moment that it's an accident that the scarecrow is the very first character that Dorothy meets on her way along the yellow brick road to seeing the Wizard of Oz. I think, and I'm not the first person to identify this, by the way, in this movie, there's a, there's a lot of wisdom in the Wizard of Oz. So there's a story about a classical Hollywood movie that I could watch over and over again for the entertainment value of it, but also because of the wisdom that's in the script of the movie. Uh, the Scarecrow got his brains and he was able to think. Tin Man got his heart and he was able to feel. The Lion got courage and he was able to act courageously. And Dorothy came to realize that there's no place like home. And what's home? Well, home is inside you. Home can be the physical building you live in. Home is where you hang your hat, so to speak. But the real home is what's inside of you. And it goes with you. Wherever you are, you are home. There is no place like home. There is no place like what's in your heart but you need to be aware of it, you need to check in with it, and you need to fix it from time to time. And you fix it with thoughts, feelings, and action. Courageous action like the lion.